Hey everybody and welcome back to One Income Budgeting. So we are going to be setting up our December monthly budget. I just got my package in from Kate Budgets. So we're going to use what I ordered from her for my December budget here. I'm going to show y'all what I got really fast. I'm going to show y'all what I ordered first. So I got her December budget. The weekly check-in. Transaction log. Debt tracker. I got these thick washies. I got two of those. The snowman's and that's what we're going to use today. I've got some thin washi. I think I got two of these ones. Um, yep. I have two thick thin washies. And then she has them in different colors. So I also got in the red color here. So we got the weekly check in in red, debt tracker, her transaction log. And then we have quite a few different of her. Um, Thick washies. We got some with snowflakes. So I got three different patterns of the thick ones plus the snowman. So then we have a few more different thin washies here that I picked up. Okay. And then for her, she threw in these for her freebies. She's got some Bill Do stickers here. Some suspense trackers right there. And then she also put in some payday stickers this time so we're going to go ahead and get started with our december budget so we're going to flip to our december pull this out because it might kind of look thick all right so i kind of labeled which page i wanted to do stuff on and switch them up just a bit so we're going to take the first page behind the monthly view and we're going to set up our budget on this page here this week. So we are going to take our December budget and our snowman washi. And I'm going to white out this here. Move my sticker to the side. So we're going to lay down her thick washi. So for December, we're going to have a quite a few unbudgeted expenses. Um, last month, I got pulled over and got a speeding ticket. So I'm going to have to pay that this month. I also have to get a new key for my car because the only key we had to my car was lost in a trailer my husband was loading freight into and so our car has been stuck since the day before Thanksgiving at his work and we still have to wait until almost the end of the week <laughs> to get our key finally reprogrammed and ready to go so I can start driving again so we are going to have quite a few unbudgeted expenses. Already foreseen coming up. And probably those will most likely come out of our emergency savings. So that is where that money will come. We are going to use this pretty color here. Alright, so we're going to list out what our incomes are going to be. So first and always is James's income from his full-time job. All right, and then any income I can bring in from Grubhub or DoorDash. And any other income from selling something on Facebook or getting money back on like Ibotta or anything like that is
is where the other is right now. So we're going to do that. I'm going to lay down my total strip here. All right. We're going to draw in our lines and then write in our budgeted, our estimated amount. All right, so for James, we are going to estimate that he brings in $3,100. For me, I'm going to try to bring in $200. And for other, we don't budget for anything, just in case we don't bring anything in for other. So total, we have $3,300 that we are estimating for this month. So now I'm going to take a thin washi here and kind of separate this. Alright. And then we are going to be doing our Variable and fixed. So we have our variable amounts, which will be first power. And power this month, we are moving it up to a higher amount than we have been budgeting because we've had to turn on heaters in the house. So our power has went up. And we have water. We've got groceries. We've got gas. Diapers. My husband's bait. We have Freeman gas. And we're going to put savings, miscellaneous, sinking funds, and if you don't know what sinking funds are, they're like little mini savings accounts for designated money is how I look at it. space just in case I forgot something. Alright, so next we are going to budget to our budget line. So next we are going to write in our budgeted amount that we have for each category this month. So for power, we are budgeting two fifty. For water, we are going to do sixty. Groceries is still six hundred. We are budgeting only two fifty for gas this month. Diapers, we are budgeting one hundred. My husband's vape, we are going to budget fifty five. For gas. We're going to budget 200 because we haven't had a fill up yet. So we're just going to go ahead and pull money out to go ahead and for the next fill up for savings. We're going to budget three uh, for savings. We're going to budget $30 for 
For miscellaneous, we're going to budget 100. Sinking funds, we're not budgeting anything for. And then unbudgeted, we're not budgeting anything for. And the reason for the sinking funds is because it'll be any extra money that we have come in more than what we need for our, all of our bills and expenses will go towards sinking funds. All right. Then we're going to do our factual line. All right. So next up, we're going to do our fixed amounts on this side over here. And the ruler is really here just to keep me from writing crooked. So our first expense on the fixed side is rent. Then we have the car. So we put Mazda. Then we have AT&T. And Allstate. We have student loans. Now the right student just so don't write so far over. Next is charter. And then we have the credit card. And any extra money I can put towards this, I try to just to get it paid off. That way I don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's one less debt that we have to pay on. All right, so draw on our line. All right, so we're going to do the amount. Rent is six hundred even. The Mazda is six hundred and sixty nine dollars. AT and T is one sixty. Allstate is one nineteen oh one this month. Student loans is fifty six thirty. Charter is fifty four ninety nine. Credit card is twenty five for the minimal payment, and that is all of it. All right, so that is all we are putting in there. I'm gonna take another washi. Take a pink one. Put it down right here. All right, and I'm gonna take her goal savings and actual savings. We're going to lay it down on the bottom as well. All right, so my goal to save money will be at least, a, let's say, $100. And that includes money that will go in our sinking funds because technically saving because we most likely won't spend it right away. So we're going to hope that we get $100 in savings. We're going to close this out with one last washi strip here at the bottom. All right. So 
So there is our December budget. And all of these numbers I got pretty much from my head because they are the same for the most part. Um, next, we are going to be moving into doing our weekly check-in page. We're going to go ahead and set it up. We're going to set up our weekly check-in. Once again, I'm going to wipe this out. Okay. So I'm going to use the snowman washi strips here. I'm going to lay them down. So we're going to use her weekly check-in in the same color scheme. So we're going to set that up here. There's that one. So we are going to do week one. For this month, we're going to be tracking four categories. So this month we're going to be tracking four categories, so we're going to skip four lines and lay down the next one. Sorry if y'all can hear that noise, I have a train about to drive past the house. tracking that way it's all ready to go for the week so we have all same categories each week that we're going to track so we're going to track groceries gas miscellaneous and then unbudgeted So we're going to go in and draw in our lines really fast. Okay. 
really much your remaining because I'll add it into miscellaneous as each week passes. Alright, and lastly, um, we are going to write in the days that we are going to be tracking each week. So we're going to be doing the 12-1 to 12-6, 12-7 to 12-13, 12-14, to 12.20 and then 12.20 to 12.27 and then the last few days to the end of the year. Okay. So that's how we're going to be tracking this week. So this is our weekly check-in and we have our no, December budget layout all ready to go. Um, let me write in the totals. Okay, so for our fixed amounts it is one thousand six hundred forty eight dollars and ninety nine cent and for our variable amount we have one thousand six hundred and fifty one dollars in there so that is all oh no wait a minute all right so we're going to set up our transaction log for our weekly check-in i like to keep uh, um, transaction log for the stuff that I've spent money on just so I can recap later because most of the time I end up losing receipts so if I just write it in here I have it and know where the money went and won't be second guessing myself later on the transaction log. Alright, so we're going to do transaction log. And then do our strip here. I think one page should be fine. Um, I do have a total expense that I'm not going to put in right yet just in case we need it somewhere else. So that is all for this video. So we set up our weekly check-in and our transaction logs for all of our expenses that we're going to have this month. And we also have set up our December budget. And I've already paid for quite a few bills. I gotta pay some more tomorrow. But that is all I have for this video. So I will catch up in the next one. Bye bye now.